fire trucks surround PSENG's gleaming high-rise headquarters in downtown Newark. You're watching an emergency drill unfold. Here's the scenario according to PSENG's Joe Forline. So we're going to have a forklift hit a gas meter set in the basement of the building and that's going to trigger a gas leak and an emergency response from PSENG, police, fire and in our drill here today we're going to simulate a gas explosion so that would be quite dangerous. Someone calls in the bogus gas leak as a thousand employees stream from the 25-story tower, emergency responders must secure the building, ensure everyone's out. So what you're going to do is you guys are going to go up to the 26th and 25th floors. The first priority is always life safety. Uh, what we want to do is uh, try and uh, uh, grab command here, stay cool, uh, uh, try and work out a strategic plan. In about half an hour, the building's clear. Next to a mobile fire division command center on Mulberry Street, PSE&G sets up its own incident command and emergency responders confer. Workers armed with gas detectors head toward the basement. A whiteboard keeps track of who's inside. A PSENG workman confirmed the gas was turned off in the building at 1152, but that was not the end of the exercise. It ramped up from there. Actually, it exploded. The air horn substitutes for an actual gas explosion. A real one would generate a 100-yard damage radius. Every day, PSENG responds to 250 reports of gas leaks across New Jersey, most of them at residential locations. But recent high-rise disasters, like London's deadly Grenfell Tower fire, underscore the need to prepare for these unique emergencies, especially as more office and apartment towers rise above city skylines. You know, we have credentials just building office tower. We have Panasonic. So, uh, you know, our firefighters and, and the fire division practice each and every day. But I think it's important that the private and public partnerships uh, exist because uh, we can't do it alone. The 600 firefighters can't do it alone. Evaluators from around the region observed this unique exercise, hoping for new insights. It's over in an hour, a debriefing scheduled. And that helps us determine uh, if we had people in the right spot, if people were outside of the area of influence and uh, what we could do better next time. As PSENG employees head back to their cubicles, Fourline warns folks to call 811 before digging so they don't hit a gas line, a real one. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.